Hello students. Now we'll solve the fourth question of exercise 2.2. And in this question, there are three boxes given. Each of the following boxes are in circles, triangles, and square. So now the question says that in the first part, we have to shade one by two of the circles in the box. This simply means that we have to shade half of the circles in this box. But the best way to solve this question is that here it says that 1 by 2 and totally we can see that there are 4 rows and 3 columns means there are total 12 circles and we have to shade half of them which means we have to shade any 6 circles but what we can do is we can make this 2 equals to 12 in the denominator and how can we do this? If you multiply it with 6 and divide it with 6, it simply means that 6 by 12. Now we know that totally we have 12 circles and out of these 12 we have to shade any 6. So there are the, these two methods. So we'll shade any of these 6 circles. So this is the answer of part A. Now in part B, we have to shade 2 by 3 of total triangle which means that if there are total 3 triangles then we will shade any 2 of them but there are total 9 triangles so if there were 3 triangles then we were shading 2 if there will be 6 then we will shade 4 and if there will be 9 then we will be shading 6 triangles but the simplest way again we write 2 upon 3 and then we will make this denominator equal to the total number of triangles. There are 9 triangles. So if you multiply 3 with 3, it will give us 9. So multiplying dividing with 3, it will give us 6 by 9. Which means that out of total 9 triangles, we have to shade any 6. So we will shade any 6 triangles. And this is the answer of part B. Similarly for part C, 3 of upon 5 of total squares. This means that if there were 5 squares, then we will shade any 3 of them. If there will be 10 squares, we will shade any 6. And if there will be 15 squares, we will shade any 9. So there are 15 squares, so answer will be 9. But again, we can do the same thing. It is 3 upon 5. Totally we know that there are 15 squares. So if you multiply 5 with 3, and divide it with 3, in the denominator it will become 15 and in the numerator it will become 9 which means that out of total 15 squares we have to shade any 9 so we will shade any 9 squares so this is how you can solve these type of questions by making the denominator equal to the total number which is given to you and this is the simplest way to solve this question. Thank you.